Hi, welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at the strip foundation. Right? So we can go ahead and take the strip foundation and see this stuff. Right? And what we're going to be looking at is the pad foundation. I had mentioned earlier that the pad foundation or each foundation is designed for a specific purpose. Right? The pad foundation is designed in such a way that it is different from the strip foundation because it is an isolated foundation. Right? And what that means, how can I give you a good example? Alright. Alright, I close this thing to me. Alright. Take for example. Take for example this chair, right? We said that the foundation is the part of the building or structure that it rests upon, right? So it is the lowest point. So in essence, the feet of this of this chair or these chairs would be its foundation. In essence, just generally speaking. Now the pile found, the pad foundation is structured in such a way that it is um, it is isolated. So what that means is at each point you would have a separate pile foundation rising up to hold up an entire structure. Alright? So what you would have is this chair would be resting upon four pad foundations. Alright, so the pad foundation comes up out of the ground and from each point you would have a column or a, a column being erected from the ground. Alright, and upon these columns you would have your building or structure. And we said that the pad foundation right, is used for like construction of bridges and piers. Right? So structures like those where you have um, the columns holding up the overall superstructure of the building. Right? Going to put a diagram on the board. Alright. Here with my sketches, you know, I'm not drawing with any um, instruments or anything like that, just free, uh, just to give you some visual aid. All right, Alright, so this is a diagram of my pad foundation. I hope you guys can see it. Alright, so this would be the footing. And um, as we said, it is um, 
similar to somewhat similar to the design of the strip foundation in a sense right but it is an isolated structure right um you would have the put in just the same and from the putting being erected you would have your reinforced column right so say for example say for example I mentioned um, construction of bridges, right? So, say for argument's sake, right? We are constructing a bridge. And So this is our bridge. Right. So we want to get from this point over here to over here. Bridge. Now, in order to assure the strength of this bridge, right? The structure would have to rest upon something to transfer the loads that are traveling across the bridge to a suitable subside. Just the same. Same as with every structure. Alright? Now, the pipe foundation is isolated. So, what you would have is you would have. This is just for argument's sake. Now we know that bridge design is much more complex than this. What you would have, for example, one part of the pipe foundation being erected over here, and from the pipe you would have a column. Right? You have another somewhere else. In the center, you have a column. Right? You have another somewhere else. And you have whatever structure is needed to ensure that the load is distributed evenly. Right? But I hope you're getting the gist of what we're saying. The pipe foundation is an isolated foundation. Right? Good. Now, in comparison to that of the strip foundation, the strip foundation is designed in such a way, guys, that it is not isolated as we mentioned the chair, the feet of the chair isolated each part pulls up the, the, the superstructure they work together but they are not connected right? now with the strip foundation with the strip foundation wait a minute But now with the strip foundation here we have a lovely house design right? constructed by our lovely um, technical students just see, right? all right now with the strip foundation what you would have is look at the base of this structure right you see these members right here running all the way around the external walls that is an general idea of how the strip foundation is designed right the strip foundation is connected so it is like one solid structure on which your walls would be erected upon all right now one key thing to know about the foundation as well you have a key term it is called um, the load bearing walls now, load bearing walls are those walls which hold up load, right? It's kind of straightforward. Now, you have separating walls and you have load bearing walls. 
Load bearing walls are those that are erected from the foundation because those are the walls that will be transferring the weight to the foundation which then goes to the underlying load bearing subsoil. I hope you get this. We get this. Alright? Good.